All right, folks, Jerry Reed, Guitar Man, take two. Listen, uh, just get you an old gut string nylon classical guitar like this, and you'll probably find one for $50 or $100 somewhere on eBay or Craigslist or Goodwill. Very similar to that 801 that Reed used to use. Get you some super low action. Practice a little bit of these picking patterns, and boy, you'll be a finger picker what I am. Sort of. So anyway, for this song, you're just turning this sixth string down a little bit to get to drop D. And then a half step down to match with what Reed was doing on the, on the record. <clears throat> so, should sound something a little bit like that. Reed tuned it in some funky kind of tuning that he had that I don't know how to do. And uh, the way I'm going to show you is a simplified way to play Guitar Man, but it still sounds pretty similar. And uh, there's a basic picking pattern that he was using that he uses throughout a lot of songs. He had several different patterns, but uh, the one I'm going to use for this one is thumb, index, and then middle and ring together. Sort of a clawing type pattern. And if you can get this pattern down and throw in a couple of, I think there's three or maybe four chords throughout this whole song, plus a bunch of other fancy stuff he's doing, you can, you'll get her down. I'll try to find a good angle to show you that pattern. So, you want to start off hitting that sixth string with your thumb, then the fourth string with your index, and then the second and third strings with these two fingers. Just follow this little pattern. Chord, intro chord that I'm making here is uh, second string tenth fret with your index and then third string eleventh fret with your middle and you just want to slide that up from wherever it doesn't really matter where doing that pattern and boy you'll have that intro <laughs> After you've picked that a little bit, you'll slide it back down that way one fret. Again, to a barred uh, seventh fret with those two strings. So, something like this. Let's see it this way. And that bass part is just hitting the sixth string open. And then five, six, seven. <clears throat> and there's a chord he goes into before when he starts singing. I'm not sure what it is, probably some sort of D7. But keep that picking pattern I just showed you going. And then to make that chord, use your pinky to hold the second string at the seventh fret and then your index to hold the fifth string or excuse me the third string at the fifth fret to give you this little chord whatever it is so just do that picking pattern there and slide it down Except this time we want to put our middle on the 6th string, 5th fret, and our ring on the 4th string, 5th fret, to make whatever chord this is, without hitting that 1st string, 
with that same picking pattern. Back to that first chord with your index and pinky. Slide it up. Add that index or um, middle and ring again. Back on down. Up to that intro. <clears throat> so it should be something like this. Well, I quit my job down at the car wash, left my mama a goodbye note. By sundown, I left Kingston with my guitar in front of my coat. I hitchhiked all the way down to Memphis, got a room at the YMCA. For the next three weeks, I went to home them nightclubs looking for a place to play. I thought my picking had set them on fire, but nobody wanted to hire a guitar man. And there's another chord he throws in there, same left hand position and same right hand picking pattern, except he uses it way up here by the peg head. And he'll throw that in uh, after this little verse. <clears throat> well, I slept in hobo jungles, bummed a thousand miles of track. Well, I found myself in Mobile, Alabama at a club they call Big Jacks. A little four piece group. So I took my guitar and I set in Showed him what a band would sound like With a swinging little guitar man Show him, son And then you go up here to the 10th fret And bar the four bottom strings <clears throat> And then use your middle On the third string, 11th fret And just kind of slide into it and slide it down one and add your ring finger to the first string, uh, tenth fret. So and that part down here is six string open twice third fret to the fifth fret then fifth string open third fret fret to the fifth fret again on the fifth string and then fourth string open third fret fourth string Other little things you can throw in there, like this, after this uh And for that little trick, you just put your pinky and ring on the second and third strings, fifth fret. Get that kind of chord or noise. Just using those bass strings and on the fifth one hit second fret, fifth fret figure it out but that's something you can do that's guitar man in a nutshell not the same way Jerry's doing it or a bunch of the other super pickers out there that's how I do it sounds pretty close if I can do it you can do it practice it